What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this team right here, used by Tiger. Tiger is one of my viewers who won our most recent viewer tournament over on my live streams. Link is in the description below if you guys want to check out my live streams. Jeans25 on Twitch. Like I said, link is down below. We do viewer tournaments every single week, once a week, every single Thursday. So turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. But like I said, my boy Tiger, congratulations for winning this tournament. He used his Lapras team right here and absolutely wrecked on everybody if you guys are hyped for today's video make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously it goes a long way thank you guys for all the support but yeah winner of the tournament as you guys can tell i showcase their team on my youtube channel channel so every time somebody wins i'm gonna be using their team that they used to win the tournament on the channel this team right here g max lapras you guys already know absolute beast in that gigantic max form can set that award bell and get one from there we also have dust cops over here as our trick room setter arcanine with my favorite move set for an arcanine has snarl and will o that's all it needs that's all it needs it just controls lower special attack and lower physical attack with the burns you got this awesome fire throw with gyro ball power whip body press and knockoff i love the move knockoff just take off items and not even worry about it. that is so big and so huge in this game we got meow stick as a support mon right here with fake out fake tears safeguard so no status conditions and psychic for stat damage and then in the final spot is t-tar big old life orb t-tar with a normal move setup ancient power dark pulse earth power and protect guys if you want to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. I used this team on the rank ladder, and I won a good bit with it. This team is actually very, very solid, so I highly recommend it. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with Tiger's team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy is also using a Gigantamax Lapras team right here. But his team looks awesome. Look, look at that. He has Toxicroak and Bolton over there. Like, awesome, dude. I love seeing, like, different meta teams. That's dope. That's dope. But who am I going to lead right here? I think I might uh, try to go Trick Room here early on with the Dust Clops. Yeah, he has a rather fast team. We might as, roll, might as well roll Trick Room. So I think I go Trick Room and then maybe lead Arcanine. I mean, Arcanine could be solid here. And then potentially Protect. Right, I have Protect on this thing. I have Snarl, will o Flamethrower, and Protect, I believe. Yeah, so I can protect if he goes into, uh, whatchamacallit, Trick of Fish. And I gotta watch out for that, uh, Dry Skin. He's probably Dry Skin, right? Dry Skin Toxic Croak, so I cannot use a Water Move on him. But I'm gonna bring that Lapras. And then in the final spot, do I go, hmm, do I go T-Tar in the back? I'm thinking T-Tar. I think a T-Tar can rock out here and get some work done. Or, or I can go Assault Vesfera. Ooh-wee, Assault Vesfera could come up clutch. You never know. Especially uh, up against that, uh, Bolton, if that's a late Mon. But I'm going to roll out with the squad. I'm going to roll out with the squad. We will save T-Tar for the back end. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here, guys. Like I said, in the beginning, when I was showcasing this team or talking about the team, guys, check out my stream. I would love to get more viewers on the viewer tournaments or more people join the tournament because we usually get around eight people. But the more, the merrier. Every single person who participated in the tournament was like, yo, we got to get some more people up in here and make this tournament bigger. So if you guys are interested, like I said, link in the description below. Hit that follow button. Slap on those notifications so you know when I go live. I stream like four plus days every single week regardless. But he goes to Lapras and Indeedee. And then Intimidate's going to pop here. Uh, not going to do too, too much because these are both special attackers. I'm going to roll out Trick Room, obviously. And I think I'm just going to protect that. Uh... Do I just protect the Arcanine? Or do I Snarl up? I'm definitely going to outspeed, so I could Snarl here. And then protect next turn. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Psychic Seeds do pop out here, so a special defense boost. And we see Lapras is holding that weakness policy. All right. I see you, Lapras. I'm not playing around. I'll definitely roll that trick him up. If we do trigger it, we can always haze out. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. We'll just snarl up here and lower that special attack so that Lapras is kind of in the dump. But he's probably going to Dynamax. This is, we already know kind of about this team. Weakness policy, Lapras. You trigger it. It's real bulky. You can be able to do some mean work. You're going to Dynamax first turn? That's perfectly fine by me. Perfectly fine. Probably going to try to set up an Aurora Belt or he might go for Max Geyser. Either way, we get to snarl off. I know we outspeed, which is dope. And then once Trickham comes here, I can protect and waste potentially another Dynamax turn. That'll be huge, and then eventually I can roll my Lapras and get some work done. Or go into my T-Tar, because I think it's just as good. Because it has that life orb and can be able to do some big old damage here. Snarl comes out. I don't know why. I absolutely love this Arcanine. Like, just the moveset. If you give it Snarl and will o -Wisp, I'm in love with it. Like, I just, I don't know. Something about it. I love controlling with it, and I know how to work it well. Second comes out here. Oh, you doubling up into me? That's fine by me, sweetheart. That's fine by me. And if Resonance comes out here, we should be able to eat this up. Depending on, I mean, either either Pokemon can eat it up easily. Bro, you know, easy, easy work. But there he goes. He, now he's going to go for a Max Geyser. We know that for a fact over onto my Arcanine. So now I can protect. Let's chill him. We get this Trick Room up. And then, or I can just Snarl again. What do I really want to do? I'm thinking of just Snarling and going after this Indeedee. Right? Right? Hmm. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just nightshade on this. Uh, we cannot nightshade on the NVD. If you guys were following me, that's tough news. Um, hmm. I could swap you into my Lapras. Ooh, we, yeah. Let's swap into our Lapras. Get that rolling out here. And then, uh, do I just snarl again? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds dandy candy. Because we'll lower special attack for both of these guys. And we'll get our own Lapras in. And like I said, I think a Max Geyser's coming out here. Which I think Arcanine can eat up, especially if it's minus two. Actually, it's minus one. I forgot about Chicken. Helping Hand comes out here. And yeah, Geyser can take out. That's totally fine by me. I can get Ferrothorn up in here if I really want to. I should have protected it. Like I said in the beginning, waste another turn. Because then I could have wasted all three. Did we eat? We do not eat. Helping Hand, I think I think Helping Hand definitely uh, got him to kill there. That's all good. Rain starts up. We're chilling. We're chilling. I can drop a resonance of my own. And we get to swap in. Okay. Hmm. Pharaoh or Kalopsky? Let's see if we go Kalops here. I really do say we go Kalops here. He can uh, definitely just paint split up. Do all different work. And we can drop a resonance of our own and start rolling from there. Or do I really need the resonance here? I can just dump on the Ndidi. Does Klops friskies? Okay, let's show him. Get in there, baby. Why did I think we had the uh, T-Tar? Why did I think that? Definitely a geyser into the NDD. This will work on that. His special defense is up. But should I haze? I could haze and lower the uh, defense again. But then they have the... Mm, that's tough news. Uh, hmm. I think we'll just nice shade over on the slappers. I doubt a follow me comes out. I highly doubt that. Hmm. <laughs> this is tough. This is actually very, very tough. We have the light clay on this thing, so our war bell can blast probably the rest of the game once we set it up. Big bulky thing. I know the NDD is going to be able to eat up, even the max guys It has that psychic seed, so special defense is boosted. And it's usually special defense bulky as it is. The helping hand comes out once again. He's going to go for a max geyser into uh, Klopsky Klops. Klops going to drop a nice little nightshade. We'll be able to do a little bit of damage here. And then my Ferrothorn can eventually roll out here and do mean work. But yo, that's so nice that my Lapras is slower than that one. How much damage do you have? Wow. Wow. That thing is mean bulky. And this thing goes for lightning. Ah, leave me alone. Beat up so well, though. Beat up so well. We're so bulky. We are not weakness policy. This is going to be a long match. This is going to be a long one, ladies and gentlefish. But yeah, I can definitely go for a pain split as well. Easily get some HP back if I really wanted to. This is tough news. I definitely got to set up the roar bell very, very soon. I'll probably just do it right now. This is such a pain, man. Oh, uh, do I haze? Hmm. I could haze and lower all stats. I really, I like, I want to, but at the same time, I do not want to. I think I'll just initiate again over on the Lapras. We'll go for that. Because I have their special attack down, and I'd rather keep it that way. This is going to be such a pain, man. This is just going to be a, such a long and drawn out match, but this is what this team is for. Like, my boy Tiger, who won the tournament, he was just running slow matches, just waiting out and winning all of them. He was dominating. Just, he, this, these things just beat up. These things are just tanks. <laughs> We're both wasting dynamics. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's gonna be a long one, ladies and gentlefish. T-ball comes out. Beat up so well. That is just an easy eat up. Energy ball comes out here. And uh oh, oh, you hit the Lapras and triggered. Okay, Lapras de is dead. He got a crit on his own Lapras, bro. Yo, dude, that is hilarious. <laughs> this dude got a crit on his own Lapras. He's got to protect now, right? He's got to protect. That is honestly so funny. <laughs> this dude legit just got a crit on his own Lapras. Unless he goes for follow me. Let's see what happens here. Follow me coming out here. No, <laughs> he just got a crit on his own Lapras. And just gave us the free KO. Oh my lord. <laughs> That is whack. Why would you go for that? You know that was going to do big damage. You should have did that while he was dynamax. And check it out with this policy. That's what comes out here. Indeed, he's eating so well right now. But we got the roar bell up. We can play a slow game here. Did he, like, click on the wrong Lapras on accident? Now he has no roar bell. That is huge, too. And Trick Room is back to normal. I might as well run it again, right? Yeah, I'm going to run Trick Room again. Because I, I have Ferrothorn in the back. My Pokemon are so slow. We need Trick Room up again. And Toxtro is going to come out of here. So I cannot. And that's shiny. That thing's looking gorgeous. So I cannot go for a geyser or on that I know it is dry skin. I, I fell for that before. I'm not going to fall for it again. All right, so definitely trick him. Uh, freeze dry. Ooh, hydro pump. We're going to go for that hydro pump. You're pumping, baby. And then we just go for a nice little trick him. I don't think you're going to take out my desk ops. With the Evo light, the roar bell up. Like, come on, yo. Get out of my face. And I could potentially play a nice little stall match here. Hawkstroke gets the helping hand. Who are you going after? He might be going after my Klopsy poo. Just for a drain punch. Nope. Onto. Eee! Dumps on my Lapras. Ooh, no problem. 
Uh, okay, but at least we get to trick him off. At least we do get to trick him off. And it comes down to Ferro Ferro. And that's that's a little struggle in there. Because Drain Punch is going to be able to wreck on me. I'm going to have to double into this Toxic Pro. I'm going to have to get this thing out of the way. Like, the NDD is just a pain. That big support mod is always good. Ferro Thorn, get out here. We have Knock Off, which could be nice. Knock Off, baby! Could be huge, but I want to go after that Toxic Pro, like I said. Do you want, fool? Go for a Power Whip. We can go for a Knock Off if we want to. Uh, I think Power Whip might, might be your best bet. Or Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball. Over on that thing. And then into a nice little Nightshade and double into this thing. You gotta get it out of here. Go for a Follow Me. I'm gonna be so mad. Goes for another Helping Hand. Okay, that Toxic Rook's definitely going last. So can we take it out? I don't know. I don't think Pharaoh can do it. That Drain Punch is gonna come in hot. How much damage are we doing? Oh, yes, sir. Pharaoh comes out big, dude. Pharaoh Thorn coming out big. Because of his speed, right? That's what Gyro Ball does. It's all about speed, I believe, right? Or it's defense. It's one of those. It's one of those. But, yo, let's go. Fire Thorn coming up clutch here. Good thing I did bring him instead of t -tar. I think he's going to clutch it up for us. He goes Draco Fish. He goes Draco Fish. That thing is 100% slower. Um, hmm. Hmm. How do I roll out here? Definitely knock off that thing's item. And if you go for a follow me, that's totally fine. And then, uh, just Nightshade into it. Right? Yeah. I don't want that thing having scarfed or banned. Whatever, doing extra damage. And we do have Iron Barbs as well, so if he hits me, I'm going to be able to eat up an extra shot. Well, this is a long first battle, guys. A long one for you guys. Hopefully, we can pick up this win. Helping Hand comes out here. Like I said, we outspeed this thing because of the Trick Room. The lovely little Trick Room. Hopefully, we can do some nice damage to this thing. Knock off. Boom. What we knock off? What we take off? We get a crit. Ooh-wee. When we knock off, it's Choice Scarf. Okay, so that's totally fine. He's not Choice anymore, which, eh. I mean, that could have been worse for us. So that thing goes down to another Nightshade after this. Crunch comes in. I think we should be able to eat, right? Beautiful. Um, I see Nightshade eat, uh, taking that out. And then we just go for a knockoff over on the Indeedee. And we should say GG, right? We should stay GG. Come on. Give me this. I love long battles. I love long battles for some reason. That was just like very slow pace. Lapras versus Indeedee. And then my Lapras and my Arcanine. We were just going off back and forth and with it. But we end up playing it slow, bringing our uh, Trick Room Mons, and winning this one. Let's get it. Knockoff comes through. Yoy! Takes out Ndidi. Yes, it does. Beautiful. And I think this nice shade just cleans us up. If not, we have Trick Room, and we will outspeed next turn. Or, yeah, next turn. Let's go, nice shade For the KO. For the win. Give it. Let's go. Let's go. 1-0 with this team. I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it. Let's hop into battle number two and try to go 2-0 with this squad. Going up against a Sandstorm team for battle number two. He has Gigalith to set the Sandstorm, and he has Exit Drill as well, and he has a Trick Room Dust Clops. So how do I want to play this? I think I want to roll Trick Room. I think I'm going to do it. I think that's a safe call. I think we go, uh, same lead. I think we go Dust Clops, Arcanine. We definitely bring T-Tar, or I can lead Meowstic and T-Tar. I can just play that game. I can fake out always. Always do that. Hmm. Hmm. We'll move this to Sing Apple. Let me see. Let's check this thing somewhere. Or we could just go with a uh, fake out and we can fake tier safeguard as well. That could be nice. That could be nice. Or I can go Meowstic Lapras. I think we'll save that. I think we'll go for the Trick Room Squad. Hmm. I think Trick Room Squad with T-Tar and uh, Lapras. T-Tar and Lapras. Or I can go Ferrothorn. Right? And, oh. No, let's go, uh, let's go Lapras here. Let's get Lapras up in here and get rolling in the second battle. I brought the T-Tar this time. I want to show off that Meowstic in the next battle for sure. I think Meowstic and Lapras go hand in hand together. We can fake out. We can fake Pierce as well and roll from there. And then if they have like a sleep Pokemon, we just safeguard up. Meowstic is actually, I think it's so underrated as a support mod. It just does so much work. It can cover a lot of areas. It can T-Wave. It learns a lot of awesome moves as well. But here we go. Who's he leading? Sandstorm squad? Sandstorm? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so he leads the Sandstorm. Which is totally fine by me. 100% fine by me. I mean, we just burned that extra drill, right? Um, I mean, we could. We get the Intimidate off. Yeah, I'm going to burn that extra drill because that's a potential Dynamax. And the Sandstorm should get going. Yeah. Gigalith runs that Sandstorm. I don't know why you just don't use T-Tar at this to the Gigalith. But the thing is, is this thing going to explode? It doesn't affect my Dust Clap, so I'm going into a uh, Trick Room right off the rip. And then I cannot protect it. I have Helping Hand. And I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp over onto... The Excadrill. The Excadrill. See what he does from there. Because this thing uses self-destruct, which he does learn. The Excadrill might protect, but all good. All good if that happens, because my Dust Cops will not get phased by it, won't get touched. And then we just get a free Trick Room up, and then we can bring in my uh, T-Tar and roll out from there. 
So what you want, fool? The C-Tar definitely rolls out in uh, Dancer very, very well because it gets that little special defense boost. EQ pops. I'm cool with it. Arcane should be able to be fine. Sir. Arcanine such a beast. And he hits Gigalith. Hits Gigalith and triggers policy? Is that policy? Okay. He's going to trigger policy there. That's totally fine. And he's probably going to take out my Arcanine here. No lie. Will it come through? Yo. I'm going to put a burn on that thing. So bye-bye, Extra for like the rest of the match. You're done for. Little boy. Little boy. And then Rockside comes through, and I swear, if my Dust Cops flinches, I'm going to cry a little bit. Don't you dare flinch, buddy. Don't do it. Don't you flinch. Yes, let's go, Clops. Let's get it. Okay, so Clops comes out. Um, thing is, do I go into... Who do I go into? Do I roll into, uh, what's it called now? I mean, I'm going to haze next turn and take out that Gigalith. I'm going to go into T-Tar here. Where do I... Mm, t is just such a good mod to go into right now. We have the ground, we can boost special defense, we can roll out. Or I can change the weather up. The Lapras. And get the War Bell rolling as well. No, we're going Lapras. Lapras is just such a safe call. Lapras is just so good. And then I can Haze as well to take off that thing's weakness policy, so it's going to do less damage. Oh my god. Oh my lord, it's beautiful. Haze in it. Everybody gets Haze. And then we bring out this, and I think I just changed the weather up turn one. I think I just changed the weather up, and I say we go after this uh, Gigalith. Considering that extra drills burn, and he's minus one, he's going to be doing doo-doo damage. Absolute doo-doo damage. And then I can set up with a war bell whenever I want after that. What you want, fool? What are you doing? I love Haze. I think Haze is so good. Especially, like, I, do, I won't have to worry about belly drums if belly drum seems to come in. You just Haze it up. Same thing with, uh, what's that other move? It's the poison move that takes off effects. I totally forget. Clear smile. That's what it is. I love moves like that. Just, it's just so good. Like, Pokemon with weakness policy or belly drum, we can just take that off the list and be fine. But make a move. This dude's scared. This dude's scared. He knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. He's gonna have Dynamax. Who are you Dynamaxing, boy? Yo, Gigalith that we're about to haze up and ruin your day? Oh, dude, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're gonna try to dump on my Lapras, aren't you? You're gonna try for it, but it's not happening. It is not happening. Your big rocks aren't doing nothing. He's only plus one, actually. Because we minus one in the beginning. But dude, Haze is going to be so clutch. And then we we are so bulky, we're just showing fine. I think he actually outspeeds me. In the trick room, because Gigalith is actually one of the slower Pokemon in the game. But that's fine. I think battle number two is going to go to distance as well. We're gonna, we might have a longer battle as well. But battle number one was nice. Nice and long. Nice juicy. Picked up that win. We're going for 2-0 oh here. Yo, Haze comes out. Oh, uh, yeet. All stat changes were removed. Yes, sir. He's going to go for a rock fall. That's totally fine. And then we get weather advantage enters, which is just dandy candy. That percent very much. Eat that up. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I was actually heaping him out. I was actually a heaping amount of damage. Let's see what, how much damage we can do. Can we KO here? No, we do not. I think Sandstorm helped that out. A bunch. A bunch of cruncher. Hmm. Go ahead. Do I max guard here? I have the max guard here. Iron Head comes out. Ooh, they double it up into my Lapras. Leave him alone. Dang, and I should have got that War Bell off. That's, that's tough news. Wish I had Ally Switch. Hmm. I'm gonna guard here. Definitely going to play the guard game. The max guard. No way you read this. Actually, he probably will read this. I should have Dynamax my T-Tar, man. T-Tar would have been rolling strong here. Guitar would have been rolling strong here. But yeah, you never see Dynamax here. But that rock stab move just. Oh mm, my god. That's just. Dang. I should have dropped the War Bell there. I didn't think he was going to do that much damage to me. We guard up here. Let's see what he's going to do. What are you going to do, sir? Nightshade pops out. Yeet. And another Nightshade actually might KO that. Oh, and you read me hard, dude. You read me hard! Get out of my face! Eat it, Klopsky. Bops does eat it. The Buffets might take out. If the Buffets do not take out, I think another Nightshade will be able to take out this game with. Let's see. Iron Knight comes out. Oh, he just read me so clean. Yo, props to this guy. Props to that guy 100%. Going out strong. Buffets. Burns. All that good stuff. And he props to that guy, hands down. Um, T-Tar's got to come out here. Oh, man. We're getting ripped up here. Yeah, ripped. I thought we had a nice lead, but then that Gigalith is just trashing on us. It's fine. It is fine. I'm going to protect. I could go for an EP. I mean, how many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. 
Okay, my own, not Pokemon, info. Uh, Trick Room has two. Okay, so we gotta take out Gigalith right here, right now. I wish I had, like, EQ or something. But if I can drop the Resonance, I'm going to say. So, let's see what happens here. Rockfall, leave me alone! You know, I don't know. You, know, you guys know how there's a crit? You guys think there should be something that makes moves do, like, half damage? Like a bad luck thing? Like, a non-critical hit? Like, you know what I'm saying? An awful hit, something like that. I think that could be funny, but it would be annoying. Earth Power comes out, cleans up that Giglet, and it's a 3v1 situation. If I clutch this one up, everybody who is watching has to subscribe. Even if I don't clutch this one up. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? It only takes a second of you guys' time to support the channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff. Seriously, it goes a long way. It really does. Thank you guys for all the support. Like, I know, like, I think it's, like, 70% of the people who, or the watch time comes from people who are not subscribed. But that's one of you. Just support the channel. Just support it. It's so simple. You just think one click. That's all it takes. Show some love. But, yeah, dude, this match is 100% over. 100% over. Ferrothorn's going to outspeed. Power Up's going to come through. Star's going to go downtown. Man, I thought we actually played that one a lot better than I did it, but I guess not. Actually, we might be able to get up a body press. Let's see. Nope. Nope. I thought we played that one a lot better, but I guess not. We are now one and one with this team. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record with this team. Here we go. Going up against a Blastoid team, a Shell Smash Blastoid team, I should say, with the Raladon, Gudra, Wooloo, ooh wee, not Wooloo, Double, and Storm Drain Gastrodon. That's a little scary. Um, How should I play this one out? I mean, Arcanine always rocks out well with Snarls and all that. I would love that, but I think he's going to go Shell Smash just turn one. I don't think we bring the Lapras just because of that Storm Drain. So I think we might actually go... Wait, do I lead Titar? I'm going to go Meowstic as a nice little lead. I could go uh, Dustclops as well. Get that Trick Room. I think that's a smart play. I mean, I'd say... Mm, let me see this. Mm, I can't really pick right now. I got to go Dustclops. Definitely want Ferrothorn, but I don't think we lead Pharaoh. I mean, I could actually. I'm going to lead Ferrothorn. And I'm going to go Titar and Meowstic in the back. Let me see this thing's moves real quick. Where do I go with Arcanine? Let's see this thing's moves. So it's Safeguard, Fake Tears, Fake Out. Uh, psychic. Mm, I don't really have any special attackers, so I think Arcanine is definitely the good call. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. I feel like Trick Room can actually do, so, do his work right here. We have a Ferrothorn in the front in case he leads that Blastoids. And then if he doesn't lead that Blastoids, we still have the Togekiss for the Follow Me. So we got Power Whip and Gyro Ball. Both stab moves for both of those mods if he's trying to set up that Shell Smash early on. But we'll see. He also has, I gotta remember, Sap Sipper and Storm Drain. Those are two things I really gotta uh, watch out for. Blastoids and Duraludon come out here. Um, hmm, okay. That's fair. Um, I don't even think... I think I just go Trick Room into a Body Press. Because he might swap into the... What's it called? Who had the weakness policy? I didn't even see you. I think it was Blastoids? Or it might have been Dedon. It's a little tough. That's a little tough. But if Titar comes in here, he can definitely do some work. If we set up this Trick Room here. As much as I want to go for this Power Whip, I feel like the... What's it called? Swap's going to come in here. Yeah, I think the the Gujar swap might pop off here. Let's see. Here comes a Dynamax. A Dynamax, so no Gujar swap. We could just went into a nice little power whip. Might be Dynamax and that Blastoids. Which is totally fine by me. Dynamax is toys that is all blasting. Nope, d -Don gets the Dynamax. And uh, Body Price is going to come in here. But that thing is weakness policy. He will not get off the shot until, until what's it called? After he goes. Until after he goes. EQ comes out here, and he's just going to trigger it on his own. So that's totally fine with me. I can haste it next turn, which is going to be all awesome. So I can haste it next turn and then go into a power whip. That's totally fine. Max Darkness comes through and... Uh, we eat? Bro, what you mean? Just dumped on me and lowers my special defense. That is tough news right there. That is tough, tough news. Body press comes in. Yoink! There's a little bit of damage. Oh, man. I really need that trick from up here. I really needed that, but Titar's gonna come out here. Uh, I think Power Whip into a uh, Max Quake could bring us back into this one. Dang, dude, I wish I would have got off that. My special defense is boosted with the Sand Stream, which is just dandy candy. So let's roll out here. Let's go Dynamax into Quaken over there, boost our special defense, and then just a nice, wonderful Power Whip over onto the toys. He swaps Gujar now, that would be just one. Then that would be a smart play. He actually might do it, and I think about it. Some tough news. Let's see what happens here. Swap, no swap. Okay. So, we might be doing good here. Cause what's called might outspeed. He thought it might outspeed. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't looked at his speed stats. 
be too much. I'm hoping it does. I hope, hopefully we can get off this max quick. It's max quick. With this life we could potentially just KO that. Well, the sandstorm's gonna help us out. We might actually be able to eat up a shot from that. Uh, max steel spike from it. It's when it comes through. Slows us both down. You little hunko junko. You little hunko junko. So that was a smart play by him. Upper speed. Dang, dude. Trick room would have been popping here. Trick room would have been popping here. Warman comes through. Gonna lower our attack. Uh, you little piece of junk. Firethorn does eat. So lowering both of our attack. Hopefully our, this power up can still KO. We'll see, we'll see. We will see. Get out. Get it. Next quick comes through. Yay! Get him! Bop on. Give him the bop piece. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, T-Tar. Let's get it, baby. Now all I need is this power up to come through. We get the special defense boost as well. It's going to be huge. And then, what do I want to do from here? I mean, Ferrothorn definitely eats up a buffet, no problem. He's at 24. I'm just hoping this power whip connects and KOs. Let's see, I think it should still KO. Let's see, get a power whip. Get it. Yes, sir. Come on, KO him. Take him out. And that thing ate up so, so well, man. That dang minus one. That minus one got to us. Oh, we don't get buffet. We're steel. We are steel type. Beautiful. Gujra does. I knew he had the Gujra. I knew he had the Gujra all along. Gujra is coming out here. I do have Darkness, which could uh, lower special defense, which could be good if my Arcanine gets it. Or I can boost our special defense once again. Yeah, let's go into this Gujra, but then it's not stab. Let's go into Max Darkness, get this stab on. I mean, what's that thing holding? It could go for Knuckle. And then just Gyro Balls. It's not very cool. I guess Body Press should still be able to KO. Let's get it. I think Blast Switch is gonna try to take out with Icy Wind. Let's see what happens here. Blast Switch is just gonna take us out with a skull. Can we eat with the Soul Fest? I love it. I love it. A Soul Fest coming up clutch. And oh, Breaking Swipe comes in though. Double hit. E. Ah, leave me alone. It lowers my attack once again. Leave me alone. Iron Barb is gonna do some damage to the Gudra. And I could just snarl because Arcanine should outspeed all these guys, right? I think Arcanine's gonna be rather fast. We do get another turn. Oh, it wasn't quick. We're going for the special defense shot. That's even better. Nice damage, baby. Nice damage. Okay. So, actually, Buffett should be able to take out that uh, Blast Switch, right? Get special defense popping. Okay. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be close, this battle. No, no. Buffett does not take it. I thought he was lower than that. Buffett. I mean, Arcanine comes in hot here. Snarl. Lowers a special attack. And then it could just potentially go into a 2v1. I just, gotta, I just gotta make sure I lower the stats that I want. So, probably just special defense. We are special attackers. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. still coming in clutch, man. Darkness, Rockfall. That's the best place. I think we just boost our special defense here. We go into Gudra, and then we snarl and take out the Blastoids. The toys that is full of blasting. Let me just get that nice little special defense popping. Nice special defense boost. He's like Arcanine's minus two, and he's still doing a heaping amount of damage. Booster stats coming in clutch. Just Titar's a beat. I'm telling you, yo, Titar is one of the best Pokemon in this game. And I can't wait for the new DLC just to see how that shapes, like the meta and everything, and the rank competitive mode. Because we're gonna get so many new Pokemon, so we're gonna get to see a bunch of di new different teams. He's gonna slow us down. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I thought this one might have been over once the Trick Room got off, but yo, Titar coming in, hot, uh, doing his own thing. Oxide comes in. We eat up. As long as my Arcanine doesn't flinch, we should be good. But she's probably going to flinch. I think it's Lightboard. Let's see what happens. Don't flinch. Let's go. Double kill or leave the Gujra on one. No, I wanted him to lead the Gujra on one just so the Quake comes out and we get the special defense boost. Dang it. But still, that works. 2v1 now. Not bad. Not bad. That really depends who the Pokemon is. It really depends here. My Arcanine, this Arcanine is rather fast, so I can put a Willow Whistle where I can start snarling up. It's a double. It is a lubby wubby dubby wool. Okay. So, what is the plan here? The plan here is to burn this thing. I could go ancient power, try to boost the stats. Or I can just, I'm just gonna go for the dark pulse, go for the flinch. Then I'm just going, even though we're slower, so really no point, but we get the stab and will o -Wisp. Cotton guard. Oh, you little hunk of junk. Good thing we are special attacking. Good thing Arcanine is special attacking. This guy is just going to try to wait us out with his defense. And we're going to get this Will O Wisp off on saying, Oh, this thing might be a uh, body press. Oof! This thing's going to be body press. We got to get after it. We got to get after it. Dark Pulse comes out. 
Oh my lord! We get a crit. You're still doing absolute insane amount of damage. This thing's plus three on defense, and we're minus two on attack. Wait, wait a minute. This thing's just teeing off. That should be game. Next hit should win. Oh my lord, Titar, stop it! Titar's so good. Look, wait, wait a minute. Let me see his Titar stats. Look at that. Minus two. Dark Pulse is a physical move, right? Oh, it's special. It's special. Okay, never mind. This is special attacking. Okay, okay. Never mind. This is why I'm so thrown off. I'm so used to physical attacking uh, T-Tars. I totally forgot this thing's special attacking. Took me long enough. Took me long enough. This is why this thing is absolutely running everything. Everyone thought it was a special or a physical attacking one. Oh, my lord. I totally fell for that one, too. That is huge. That is huge. Oh, my lord. Why is T-Tar's an absolute stud? T-Tar's going though, and Flamethrower should come in here and pick up the KO. Come on, baby. What you want? You want a body press? Maybe turn one? He probably might could have had a chance. But that's game over. GG. 2-1 with this team. I think that's awesome. Special attacking T-Tar. I didn't notice it until the end, but let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Winning record with this squad right here. I love this team so much. Tiger, thank you so much for popping out to the tournament and winning it so I can use this team. I absolutely love the G-Max Lapras, and I love finding out that this T-Tar is special attacking. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.